For the first time, a U.S. official has spoken publicly about Washington's desire to deploy a U.S. missile defense system in South Korea. While you might think the move has North Korean threats in mind, analysts say it actually has more to do with China's rise. Kim Hyun Bin has this report. The top commander for U.S. forces in Korea has asked Washington to deploy an advanced American missile defense system in Korea. A move that may push Seoul closer to joining Washington's missile defense system, along with Japan. Speaking at a lecture in Seoul on Tuesday, General Curtis Caparati said he had recommended that the Pentagon set up the system known as a Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, to Korea. Caparati's comments are the first from a U.S. official that confirm it is looking into deploying its high altitude defense shield on the peninsula. THAAD is a U.S.-led missile defense system capable of intercepting ballistic missiles at high altitudes of up to 150 kilometers in their terminal phase. Earlier reports said that Washington had conducted a site survey for possible deployment locations for the THAAD system. But is it a good fit for South Korea? THAAD is very controversial regarding the efficiency and adaptability and interoperability. A lot of concepts we should consider. Some experts say the U.S. is not using the system to prevent threats from Pyongyang, but rather to counter China's growing presence in the region. It's still too early to say that uh, China is all against the Chinese rising military power. We should uh, focus on North Korea's direct missile system and its uh, North Korea's very provocative actions, including the post nuclear test and another missile, uh, another series of. Uh, the recommendation is in the initial stages of consideration. General Scott Barati said a final decision will come after close discussions between Korea and the U.S. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.